My father was diagnosed with dementia in, I think, 2012. Um, started off with a diagnosis of um, mild cognitive impairment. Um, but we noticed that it wasn't just sort of short-term memory and Dad seemed to have a problem with directions and things that he used to be able to, to do. Quite a few changes in his personality, I suppose, that led us to, to think, well, this is not normal behaviour for Dad. It's not simply forgetting a few, a few dates and, or not finding his way home and losing keys. It was a, quite a bit more than that, really. Dad is a teacher, of, um, head of Department of Craft Design and Technology. Um, he didn't get into grammar school, so didn't go to university, but always wanted to further his education. And um, I think it was when he was in his 40s, it took nine years, but he got his um, doctorate in philosophy, which was a very, very, very proud moment for him. So before he was diagnosed, he wouldn't accept much help. He'd get quite angry and say that there was nothing wrong with him and that we were meddling and um, we were just trying to get his money, sort of irrational, irrational thoughts and irrational behaviour. Emotionally it was, quite, it was quite difficult, especially when he was living on his own, so we'd have to take him for hospital appointments because he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to have a carer do that and Dad wouldn't be able to remember what would happen in the medical appointments, it would be quite important. It, it was difficult. Dad would call at random times in the day. I'd be at work and if I'd see on my mobile phone that it was Dad calling, I'd always answer. It'd just be quite difficult when you're at work and your mind would be, I hope Dad's okay and thinking about him, but you also have to carry out your work tasks. So it's quite, it was quite difficult, the conflict between the, between the two. So, um, he must have been living on his own with his diagnosis for a, a, a couple of years, slowly getting deteriorating slightly and needing more and more help. And we were just increasing um, the carers and the visits that he had. And then he had um, a mild stroke when luckily one of the home help was there and noticed that he looked like he was having a stroke um, and went into hospital and just didn't recover well enough to be able to go home and live on his own. So um, we made the decision to look for a care home for him to move to where he would be safer. It seems to be going well and Dad seems um, quite content and doesn't ask to go home. And although he has outbursts of challenging behaviour and sometimes he's something might happen and he's clearly not, not happy for the most part, he seems that he's He's happy and he's well fed and safe. And realising that the, the person you knew is still there, they just might not be able to communicate in, this, in the same way, but they've not gone, they are still there and you know, they still need your love and affection.